question. Yes. But uh, um, it's always a dilemma, you know. We we joke about in, in Israeli bloggers. It works both ways, by the way, not just to the Israeli side, but to the Palestinian as well. But if, when you blog about Israel in English and you criticize, you start by getting applause from the peace camp in the states, which is nice, and you get nice comments, and then you get the really an hard anti-Israeli, and then you get the anti-Semite. And you end with the Holocaust deniers. <laughs> and that's when you say to yourself, I gotta give up this business. You know, I'm making friends that I don't wanna make. <laughs> and and it it also works to the other way, because a lot of Palestinians criticize the Israeli peace cap for legitimizing Israel in the world, presenting it as a more liberal society than it is. You know, we're like in a debate here, well, as you said, my position are in a tiny minority in Israel, given the last election's result. So, uh, um, so it happens, you know, in, in joint struggles in the West Bank that some of the villages where they have this joint protest don't want the Israelis in because they say it legitimizes, it presents Israel in a nice, in a too nice way, uh, and and and. This is a tough point for everyone who wants to criticize his own government abroad. Very tough one, and, and I deal with it every day. You know, say, writing something which might perceive as, as too critical about your own country in English makes you look bad both here and in Israel. Now, I'm, I feel a great confidence to, as being an Israeli. So I, I don't have my doubts in but I do ask myself from time to time what kind of causes I serve against my own will. But because the debate here in the States, especially here in the States, you know, is so critical because, uh, to, to Israel's future. Because things are really sometimes cold, the shots are cold here a lot of the time. So I think that, and because of the Jewish community here, which is, which are, we are related to in a way. I think there, I tend to put aside all these reservation and engage in, in this debate, in this information exchange. Regarding your question whether social media don't encourage a noisy people to come and, uh, on the debate, yes, you're right. It's happening, but what's good with social media is that the community at the end sets up the, the rules, which means if the community on social media sees someone who is vocal, who, who is extremely vocal, social media or the community on social media has its own way 
to take him the right way. First. Second, relating to what um, Noam said about criticizing Israel, and yes, I choose the word criticizing, um, Israel abroad or here in the States, I have a different uh, way of looking at the things. I don't have a problem if someone pro criticizes Israel, period. I think it's legitimate. I think it's something positive. Um, but I have a problem when certain organizations are only criticizing Israel and are only doing it here. First, and I'm not referring uh, to Noah, not at all. I have a problem when a certain organization is only bringing the negative side of Israel and is doing it here. Criticizing Israel, as I said, it's legitimate. It's legitimate to do it in Israel. It's legitimate to do it outside Israel. At the end of the day, everyone is a free person to think, to believe, and to say whatever he believes. But if you claim that Israel is important to you, I don't expect you only to criticize Israel and only to do it abroad. If you want to do it abroad, that's fine, but bring all, bring the entire picture. Don't concentrate on the negativity. You're talking about Israeli organizations or foreign ones? Foreign ones. Okay. Um, yes.